um, knew coming in that they had a very good offensive unit, and those two guards were going to be uh, as good as we would see in our league all year and scoring the basketball. Uh, a little disappointing in the first half. I felt like we were a little unsure of ourselves offensively. I still think we are. We're a little tentative offensively and unsure of ourselves. But uh, there's some good things. We're rebounding the ball at a pretty good rate, um, and, and we're playing hard. We just got to improve our execution and, and kind of understand our roles and who we are and what we're trying to do a little better. Tough night against a really talented high-level, well, mid, mid, high mid, late, high mid major program. Uh, they're a good team. They've won a lot of games. Uh, you know, I, um, we knew that that three and two were were really high, were really good guards, and you know, but the, offensively we just didn't. Second half we didn't get much done defensively. And tried to change up some defense. It helped a little bit. Uh, we gave up some. When we did get them stops, we we gave up second chance points in the second half, um, but. All in all, I still think it's our offensive execution in the first half. Our, our rebounding's okay. Our defensive numbers are okay, just looking at them. It's turnovers and, and offensive numbers that are that are hurting us. And the truth is, I, and I know that, that we've got some really good shooters on this team. We've shot the ball well all fall. Uh, we're playing a little unsure of ourselves with a little weight on the ball. And uh, when we get out of that and we get a little more sure of what we're doing, then we'll be okay and we'll make some shots and we'll flow a little better offensively. Fantastic night for K. John and A.J. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was fantastic. It was it was a good night. I mean, I expect Jugovic to be a good player. I expect him to be a an all conference guy. He was preseason all conference. We expect him to make shots for us and be a leader out there defensively. And uh, you know, I was proud of him. He got five rebounds. Um, you know, I expect we expect Kajon to be a good player. Those numbers are fine, but we're still missing too many bunnies around the rim. And and you know, I think they those two guys in particular have to lead our team from a from a mental focus standpoint and I think there's too many times that we're not all on the same page and and on the floor you got to have guys that communicate with everybody and those two guys should be those guys. Coach you're within six I think in the, uh, the fourth quarter but yet Keen and uh, Rayson starting to mm -hmm. hit a lot of shots and, and kind of create some uh -huh. separation. You know well, we took that lead in the second half, and I thought we were fine. I really thought our, our guys were, were, were going to win the whole time, to be honest. And then um, those two guys are good offense, but they hit some tough shots. And we missed a couple of shots that we need to hit. You know, in, a, in an offensive game like that, and it was an offensive game, um, good players make plays. You know, I, I know their guard went and hit a tough shot. We may have came down and missed a layup. Uh, you know, our, our ability to finish at the rim has got to be a little better. I mean, we're. We're not finishing in the paint at the rim, especially on our drives, the way we need to. Um, you know, and, and we're going to shoot it better. I, in the second half, we started shooting the ball, coming live, uh, shooting the ball with with K. John and AJ. But there's a couple other guys that'll knock down some shots. But in the end, you know, it comes down to making a couple plays here and there, it changes the game. And you know, you can't let those two little guys just just dominate the game. And they did. And uh, you know, we knew one on one, they were tough. To, we were going to be tough to guard. We knew that coming in. Um, but. That's what good players do. They they put put good they put teams on their back. And those two guys did it tonight. Could you talk about your team's new kids trying to learn some identity and some roles? Could that have been part of tonight about oh, we're, pressure and we're gonna be a very good team. Yeah. I don't know when, but we're gonna be a very good team. And and it's it's evidence by our offensive execution uh, in the first half when they were changing defenses and they didn't want to play us man. I uh, played a lot more zone because we struggled with zone the first game. And we weren't sure of ourselves. We're not sure when we should shoot a three. We're not sure when we shouldn't shoot a three. We're not sure if we should drive and take a shot. We're not sure if we drive and find an open guy. Um, there's a lot of tendency there, and that comes with guys playing new roles, which everybody on there is playing a new role, or new players. And, uh, you know, even AJ's like that, who shouldn't be like that. But his role's different this year. And, uh, you know, Mason's role's different this year. And those other guys are new, and so they're you know the only guys really playing the same role is Courtney Alexander, and uh, and he's a little more aggressive at times. But they're all figuring out what they're supposed to do, when they're supposed to do it, what's a good shot for this team, what's you know. But there's no excuse for we talk. There, there's no that that's a big part of our offensive problems, and then defensively, there's no excuse for for not playing together defensively late. We always. We always have a saying, first shot threes won't beat us. Well, they didn't beat us from the three-point line. I know they hit some key ones, 
they beat us getting to the paint. We started worrying about them hitting the three, so we started spreading out defensively and letting those guys attack the lane a little bit. Um, there were some good things. We, did, we, had, we got them in foul trouble. We rebounded the ball well. There were some good things. We just have to get, learn our offense, learn what we're doing execution-wise, learn who we are a little bit better, and we'll be okay. AJ, what do you th think about tonight? Coach talked about maybe some defensive communication. Did you see that out on the floor too? Well, yeah, I have to agree with the coach that it started with the first half with our offensive execution. We kind of had a little bit of problems getting into a in rhythm and make us make us more nervous, and then we didn't respond well at the defensive end instead of just staying staying patient in, in offense and keep grinding and doing in defense what we've been we've been doing last last game and all practice we've been trying to work hard in defense, but. A little bit of miscommunication, and then we couldn't stay couldn't stay mentally locked in until the end. Coach really high though on the team, talking about how you're going to be good. Do you see that potential? Also yeah, in the team? definitely. Yeah. I, I can see some similarity to last year. When I look back to last year, beginning it was also kind of sluggish like this, but uh, eventually we we raised and uh, we got our, our rhythm, and I believe that that would happen. I think we have a lot of talent and, and depth in this year's team. I haven't watched any of them yet. I'll watch them tonight, um, and I'll start preparing for that one tonight. Um, we're playing a stretch where we play every other day or every two days, two, and so tomorrow we're off. And we're going to get together as a team and just kind of hang out, and then we'll practice on Wednesday to get ready for Thursday. I, our attitude's good. Our work ethic's good. There's a lot of good things. Um, we're going to be fine. I, you know, I, it, we, we've said as coaching staff, this team may start a little slower. You know, we've got a lot of guys who can shoot the ball. And so, where last year, everybody knew Torrance and Ryan were going to get shots and AJ shot some threes every now It was kind of, this year, we're maybe not having as many good possessions offense because a guy gets a pretty good shot who can shoot it. And right now, we're not clicking, making shots. So we don't look as, as fluid as I'd like to look offensively. Uh, and I think defensively, we're already probably better than we were last year defensively, even though they got us tonight. Our, our numbers for them are not that bad. I mean, you look at our shooting percentage defensively, and I need to create a few more turnovers. They kind of got us on our heels late. But, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very certain that this team was going to have a good year, and I've told them that from day one.